Hello everyone, welcome to BMW Gallery's X5 Plug-in Hybrid Electric Vehicle. To give this vehicle its full name, this is the 2021 BMW X5 X-Drive 45e and as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle we have all of the merits associated with typical PHEVs but it's important that I break down the differences between a pure EV, a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle and a hybrid electric vehicle. So with a standard hybrid electric vehicle we're talking about a regular car that has an electric motor and a small battery pack that is really using that electrical force to improve fuel economy. In the case of plug-in hybrids, we're talking about an actual socket that you can plug into your house or any other electrical outlet, and it goes into a dedicated, much larger battery pack so that you have a much more usable pure electric driving range. But we still have a gasoline engine, so when it comes to the point where you've run out of electricity, you can still keep on going with out any range anxiety fears. And for pure EVs, we're talking about just electricity. So just a battery pack and just some electric motors. Now in the case of this X5, we have a three liter turbocharged straight six engine, an electric motor between the engine and the eight speed transmission, and then a 24 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack that lives underneath the rear seat and underneath the trunk. With all of this combined, we're talking about a total system output of 389 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque with what BMW claims is a 50 kilometer pure electric drive. And if you're plugging in this vehicle at home at night, using a level two charger, it will recharge itself in less than five and a half hours. This plug-in hybrid electric has a lot of different driving modes. So if you're looking for the most efficiency or the most performance out of your day-to-day -day drive, the team at BMW Gallery will be really helpful for you to show what systems you need to use to maximize your goals. Let's now get onto the road with the X5 because there is a lot to discuss with the driving modes and the overall driving feel of this mid-size SUV. So without further ado, Let's get on the road and go for a drive. Even though there's a lot of complex elements to this vehicle, it isn't complicated to drive. If you just wanna drive it like any other vehicle you've driven throughout your life, the X5 will feel like a normal X5. But if you pay attention and you really want to maximize efficiency, then there's a lot of very interesting elements to a day-to-day -day commute that all hybrids or plug-in hybrids can provide. So for an example right now, hybrids and plug-in hybrids have regenerative braking. So as you coast or you're on the brakes, you're actually feeding a little bit of electricity back into the battery pack. So the example right now, I'm going down a hill, I have my foot off of the gas, the engine is off, and a tiny little bit of electricity is going back into the battery pack. And even though BMW claims that you could get 50 kilometers of pure electric range, when I was driving this vehicle earlier, 75% charge indicated, but 63 kilometers indicated remaining. So it's learning how efficiently I'm driving. And with that, it's changing around its predictions of just how efficient of a drive I'm having. Now, as I mentioned, there is no fear of electricity running out and being stuck in a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle because you can always return to the gasoline engine when you need to. In pure electric drive, you are able to go to 140 kilometers an hour in pure EV. But if you desperately need to overtake someone or get out of someone's way, then using the kick down button in the throttle, you will reignite that three liter straight six. Going from electric mode and then into hybrid mode and the eco pro mode within that, it's really going to maximize the efficiency of the entire system, but rely on the gasoline engine when you really need it. And then going into sport mode, it is prioritizing the gasoline engine with the extra boost system from the electric motor and the battery pack. In this, you can get another 40 horsepower in 10 second surges. So even though the drive of this hybrid electric system is the dominant factor of what the experience is like from behind the wheel, all in all, it feels just as good as any other 
BMW. There might be a little bit of a learning curve to it if you want to maximize efficiency or maximize performance, but at the end of the day, this is still an, an exceptionally good driving vehicle with beautiful build quality and really immersive technology on the inside. So if you want to find out more about the X5 xDrive 45e and the other plug-in hybrid electric vehicles in the BMW range, head over to BMW Gallery and take one for a test drive. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.